Welcome to Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> yeah, uh, we came to the 50th annual Balloon Fiesta without reservations. Are yeah. we crazy? Uh, we might be. Stick around. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Stacy. I'm Tom and we're RV Texas y'all. We are native Texans and full-time RVers who are all about exploring the great state of Texas and beyond one campground at a time. We're on a mission to experience life, not just live it, and we're bringing you along for the fun. In 2018, we sold our house, our business, and got rid of most everything we owned to hit the road and see America. Our home is a 33-foot RV named Freedom. We installed an extreme solar and lithium setup so now we can just about live anywhere with our dog Star and our cat Astro. Every day is a new adventure, so join us as we RV America, y'all. Well, I don't know if you, you can't really tell, it almost looks the same as what we were, but we made it in to Balloon Fiesta. Wow. The weather has been real shady this week. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so I think someone canceled and yeah, we were lucky. We got in. So we are in the south lot, uh, which is dry camping for us. And yeah, we're excited to be here on property. They say that from our windshield, we'll be able to see the balloons. So we uh, hope that the weather will cooperate with us. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this is my happy place. When we came here the first time in 2015, it's one of the best things that I'd ever done. I mean, and I'm so happy to be back. Oh, me too. So yeah, yay! yay! Can't wait to share it with we're you. We're gonna go out and just, we're gonna walk around here and get our bearings so maybe tomorrow morning, if they launch, we'll be there for it. So we'll see. The weather's still supposed to be a little shaky, so we'll see. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. So believe it or not, as we were walking around, just checking things out, they just, they just we were able to go into the balloon fiesta. Nobody's there, so we could kind of get the lay of the land. But over at the museum, we were able to go in and buy tickets. So we're ready. We don't even have to wait in line in the morning. So how awesome is that? So we're gonna be ready in the morning. It, I, we just hope mother nature uh, is kind to us. We'll see, we'll see. It's real nice right now. All of a sudden the sun came out and it's beautiful, but right over at the mountains over here, I don't know if you can see it, but I think it's raining pretty heavy over there. But it can stay over there. <laughs> we're gonna head back to the RV. Okay, oh, we're, we're heading in. Yeah, we've got to check our bag real quick and it looks like a successful first morning. Yeah, green flag is up. Yes. We're going to get us a little breakfast this morning. They have phenomenal breakfast burritos here. Yes, they do. So we're looking forward to one of those. Or There's a lot of everything, really. Anything you can imagine. Actually, a Krispy Kreme donut here. There's, a There's like three Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts, yeah. Yep, all that's here. So we're going to get us a little breakfast. We got our breakfast before we're going to hit the field. <laughs> Excellent. Yep, and the balloons are just now starting to go up. Here's one going right over us. It's called the bucket list. <laughs> How appropriate. What do you think? This is awesome. I love the fact that you can be on the field amongst the balloons, watching them inflate. It's a magical experience. This big white one right in front of us. And this brown one is 
smoky bear. <laughs> So the thing is, they heat, they blow in the balloons, they blow in air from fans to fill it up with air, and then they heat it. And they heat the air, and that's what causes the balloons to rise. And uh, yeah, really, really cool to watch it. So close to that, I can feel the heat from that fire. Wow. chase vehicle so they're going to try to follow where the balloon goes so when he comes down they can put him back in the trailer <laughs> that's going to be an adventure for sure this looks like chaos here but it's a controlled chaos believe it or not it's really cool everybody's having fun oh yeah Gotta keep 
keep a lookout because the balloons are all around and they're taking off and you got to make sure you're not in their way. This is Alley Corn from Denver, Colorado. Small cards. Tiger is from Australia. Wow. There's just layers of balloons. Every time you turn a corner to see one, there's three more behind it. <laughs> like Texas to us. It's Sheriff Armadillo from Newport Beach, California. So how cool is this?
Lane's right around the corner. Hey, he's ready. He's ready. just amazes me and the fact that with the weather even being how it is all these people are here and it's just yeah it's amazing I saw a roadrunner balloon a while ago and there's Wiley Coyote going up yeah <laughs> just awesome look the farmer there. right there oh. <laughs> this is Ms. Autumn from South Dakota. <laughs> and up there, the people that have Ms. Autumn, the jack o' lantern, also have Bud E. Beaver, who's just taken flight right up there over the robot's head. inflating behind me is Squawkers. This is what he's going to look like. He's a bird from Albuquerque. All right. Local bird. Local bird. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, all. Great plane. That is very cool. That's, that's raw propane versus it going oh, through the coils. Oh. When it goes we through the coils, it's preheated. Like yes! Oh, really? Wow! Yeah. And she was up How much do you go through on a oh. typical ride? Uh, anywhere from 15 to 20 gallons for, for about an hour's ride. Yeah, like you're Where in the heck is the have, tank? In here with me. Oh, okay. There's two big old tanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two 15 gallon tanks. I was going to say. Awesome. So, according to the book, there are about 650 hot air balloons here this year from all over the, all over the world. Uh, What's great is you can go right up and talk to the pilots and the other balloonist. Uh, we were just chatting with the folks here that are part of Duma. You can see his back. <laughs> they are from the villages in Florida. And uh, fascinating. I mean, this is just amazing. is Master Zabra from the UK. Wow. And behind me back over there is the chain carving, uh, chainsaw carving, which we loved last time we were here. And you can watch them carve, they're phenomenal. And uh, usually at the end of the fiesta, they do like an auction and sell the stuff that they do while they're here. Or you can buy carvings, which we bought one of an owl back in 2015. One of the things we didn't get rid of when we downsized, it's a Grammy K's house. And uh, yeah, they're cool. They're fun to watch. And they do that usually in between sessions and stuff so you can come by and watch it and buy things and stuff like that.
So today, they're not only taking off, but they're also doing a competition where some of them are flying in and they're getting points, I guess, for how they're landing or where they're landing or things like that. I'm not exactly sure how the competition works, but it's very interesting because you're seeing balloons that are static, that are just inflated and sitting. You're seeing balloons that are rising up and you're seeing balloons that are landing. It's like a dance. Coming down fast. Yeah, they are. Dude. Yeah. It's hot. It's hot. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're at the Freedom Flight booth. We saw their balloon earlier. It's the POW MIA uh, booth. And for donations, they have merchandise that supports the effort. Tom got him a hat. Hey. <laughs> and I got a zippered hoodie. Yes. How cool is that? And luckily, uh, Linda knew about it. So they had seen them before at a previous BS. <laughs> Okay, real quick. They actually have an RV show here. They didn't have that in 2015. Kind of cool.